Tasmania, the smallest of the six Australian states, is an island to the southeast of the mainland. The Fresene Peninsula is one of the more easily accessible of the national parks of Tasmania. The red granite peaks of the hazards dominate the sheltered waters of Coles Bay. Coles Bay is a very popular holiday resort for families. Mount Amos, the central peak of the three hazards, is often climbed by holidaymakers. A well-trodden path leads up through scattered scrub to the summit. At the halfway mark, the view looking back over Coles Bay makes a good excuse to stop for a spell. The going is easy if you keep to the track, but some energetic people like to take short cuts over the weathered granite. From the summit, there is a magnificent view over Wineglass Bay. Wineglass Bay is unspoiled by so-called improvements and if you want to swim in the Tasman Sea, your dressing room is the scrub which fringes the beach. Quite a different type of national park is Mount Field which is 50 miles from Hobart, Tasmania's capital city. Russell Falls are only 10 minutes easy walk from the park entrance. Between the falls and the entrance are beautiful glades and tree ferns. There are picnic grounds immediately inside the park. Children love to feed the pet wallabies here, especially the rare albino. Serious bushwalkers seek wider horizons than the family groups and they take the gravel road up to Lake Dobson. When the shelter hut at Lake Dobson is reached, after a climb to some 3,400 feet above sea level, the road ends and from here you must hitch on your pack and walk. Those familiar with the tropics might think that they were seeing pandanus palms again, but these are Richia pandifolia, commonly known as pandani. A noisy and a cheerful bird is the mountain jay, and he's not a bit shy. Sphagnum moss grows here. It's renowned for its absorbent qualities and has been used for surgical dressings. Snow gums are the most plentiful trees at this altitude. Once up on the Rodway Range, there are areas of tundra-like plateau backed by the uninhabited ranges of southwest Tasmania. The cushion plant is well named. The crest of the Rodways, at some 4,000 feet, 
is formed of dolerite boulders estimated to be about 170 million years old. Time has not softened them. As lunchtime approaches, a lookout is kept for water, and as soon as a spring or soak is found, the billy is boiled. Lake Seal was once the bed of a glacier. The Tarn Shelf is a pre-glacial river valley. Most of its seven tarns are named after prominent Tasmanians. There are no roads on the rodways, so when they built a shelter hut on K. Col, a light aircraft was used to drop timber and iron for its construction. It's called the Peterson Hut in memory of a well-loved bushwalker of that name. Sir Edmund Hillary, climber of Everest, performed the opening ceremony, appropriately enough in a snowstorm. From the Peterson hut can be seen the towering dolerite columns of the Watcher, where rock climbers have a wonderful time risking life and limb. Climbing is only for the intrepid few. Bushwalkers and ordinary family parties find, perhaps less excitement, but an equal delight in the natural, unspoiled beauty of Tasmania's national parks. <laughs>